Hi guys, uh, welcome to another review. Uh, this time I'm gonna review a horror movie called Oculus. Um, yes, O C C O C U L U S Oculus. Uh, I don't know what it means, uh, and the movie doesn't explain what it means. Uh, but it's basically um, a Shining movie, like like Jack Nicholson old movie, the horror movie, The Shining. It's almost like that. Uh, with uh, haunted possession but instead of a haunt, haunted house it is more of a haunted mirror you know mirror mirror on the wall kind of stuff so this mirror is haunted uh, right away I'm gonna tell you that uh, this movie is well directed uh, even though it's not that popular I mean I think it's an indie effort but uh, they didn't make it uh, it's, it wasn't shot like be great it almost looks good uh, I w um, so it's quite a surprise that it's kind of kind of kind of cool down to earth not many special effects kind of movie um, yeah it's just an okay movie horror movie in, in my opinion um, another way to describe this movie is the genre of stupid people doing stupid things that will get themselves killed so that's basically uh, Oculus so from this point on I'm just gonna spoil a lot of this movie for you I spoil because I just like to uh, criticize some of the bad points of this movie and I also want to share some of the good points now you can tell that this movie is uh, low budget and I think uh, kind of like a simple script uh, but thankfully it was well shot the director shot it well so it looks good and and it looks it doesn't look be great well thank god because of that um, one of the strength is this uh, actors you got fantastic actors in this movie so they are good um, so far I'm talking about cinematography good acting good and but the story is a bit just a social thing like I say I hate this kind of genre where stupid people do stupid things uh, and then get themselves killed however like I said it's, it's well shot and well they did it well you know but that doesn't take away from a lot of the plot holes that show up later basically because of the stupidity of the, some of the people now like I said this, this is a haunted mirror movie so the mirror plays like um, a gateway or something where there are ghosts hiding inside the mirror it wasn't well explained it just like if you have the mirror a lot of bad things happen and you see uh, there is some sort of ghost a lady ghost and several ghosts hiding inside the mirror and youth and another unique part of the movie I would say that the, the movie is also goes back and forth uh, about these two siblings and now they are grown up but the movie goes back and forth when they were younger and when all this incident happened that killed their parents so there is a bit of a shining where the uh, where the haunted haunted mirror uh, possessed their parents and killed and caused hell caused havoc like I say I I, I, I kind of like they did it well I wouldn't I would say they did it the go bang going back and forth between the past and the new they did it well but it really it really annoys me because you know you, you it makes you your mind have to go and look at the past and then uh, even though it doesn't explain well uh, what really took place except there's some sort of weird thing that's happening to their parents uh, possession and stuff like that but the kids they were they were young so they, how did they know what kind of um, hauntings or what happened to their parents so you, when you watch this you don't see it until the very end where they show I'm going to spoil it this is going to part spoiling when they, at the end they will show these two kids um, um, in the whole house right and then like this a lot of these ghosts that surrounds them and but and they were but they don't kill these kids so that's a bit kind of like unexplained why they didn't kill the kids 
Um, but it also show that the kids saw there are ghosts. There are a lot of ghosts. Um, so that was explained in the end after you watch it. But when you start watching it, you didn't you didn't know anything about the the, the mirror. But uh, while I was watching it, um, like I said, these stupid people doing stupid things. This siblings, two siblings, one boy, one elder girl. One boy got to, got uh, placed in the mental institution while the sister uh, managed to grow up and make a lot of money. And yet, she's still obsessed about this mirror. And that, I put a stop there. I mean, why are you obsessed about this haunted mirror? It almost killed you. And... <laughs> And why is she so obsessed about wanting to get it back? And that's the question was asked by the brother when she he got out of the he got out of the mental institution. He asked her, why, why just not destroy the mirror? Why not? Who are you talking to? Because she's making all this recording, like uh, video taping of this mirror, as if to prove to something to someone. Whereas, fine, they survived the the incident, and they they know the danger of the mirror. Um, why would anybody uh, relieve that? And there was, and you you look at her, you think, even in this movie, they show like she's having some sort of mental breakdown, and the brother is trying to help her get out of the situation, but she's so far off, she's so far gone, and she acting like she's so brave and uh, courageous, but uh, she's actually so the most afraid the most uh, messed up of the two <laughs> and and that's um, it's a bit yeah it's about stupid movie doing stupid things stupid uh, stupid people doing stupid things because she I mean the girl, older girl is clearly dealing with um, things that she cannot comprehend and she knows she knows it's dangerous but she doesn't know how how dangerous, how how far it, it, it actually, the power is actually, how strong the power is. And uh, it really shows that the mirror is just fucking with her, just just uh, teasing her, playing with her. And it, it shows from the, even from the beginning that the mirror is just playing with her and trying in the end, trying to destroy her. And the brother no, somehow felt that all this will, is dangerous and not healthy. And I, I believe that she, she should have followed him or he should have dragged her out of the house and like I said it's, you know how it's gonna end this is the kind of movie you know how it's gonna end it's gonna end badly and you are just angry at this girl for doing all these stupid things because she cannot she really has no power against this this being so that's another one of the biggest I think biggest uh, holes to me is the why is the is the reason to do this? Why you're not we're not even equipped to deal with this? I mean, and with this creature or with this uh, paranormal thing, you are not even equipped yet. You just want to face it. You want to challenge it to come out and destroy you. That's basically what she what this older girl is trying to do. Like challenge this monster, this uh, this supernatural force to come out and fight her whereas she doesn't have any ability to fight back and she clearly knows it and if you look at I mean if, when I sit back and think about it yeah she doesn't she doesn't have any uh, you know she prepares to destroy the mirror and why not while at the same time saying that the mirror cannot be destroyed and all these other crazy things that recording and stuff like that even when at one point, uh, one of the most, I think, smart, uh, smart point of the movie where suddenly she went back into the, I mean, the brother talked senses into her and she wanted, okay, now let's get out of here. When she went back to the room and she saw the video all were moved and the plants died. Now, and then she, she looked at the rewind because she put all the camera inside the room. She saw that the, um, on the, the, the day the, the siblings put the camera themselves facing it, you know, mess up the camera themselves, but they didn't re remember doing it, and we as the audience saw them not doing it. So then, 
from that was the beginning, from the very, very beginning, you see they are dealing with forces that they can understand, that they can comprehend, that has the ability to play with their minds and play with their reality. So it's, it's clearly a dangerous thing. Yet she still want, she's still obsessed about pursuing it. And to me, that's the biggest uh, downward spiral um, of this movie because I'm thinking like, fuck, this shit is so stupid. And she is just gonna kill, get herself killed, get her and her brother killed. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil the ending, just suffice to say, but like I said, you know how it's gonna end. It's gonna end badly. She walks herself into the pit and she's like sacrificing, she's like, it's like she's sacrificing herself and her brother. And just, uh, that's, I didn't really get, really, you know, rock my boat. I'm like I say, it's well directed, well acted, but the story is just not my cup of tea. That's uh, just holes, and it reminds you of The Shining. It reminds you of The Shining because this is what The Shining is about. It's about possession, and and um, that's it. Because the 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 word Oculus is not explained. The mirror is not explained. The demons are not explained. It's like just a lot of back and forth between time and the mental disintegration, the mental uh, problem of this girl and how they all end up badly. And my review, my score for this movie is 6 out of 10. It's better than normal, it's entertaining to watch but a lot of plot holes, a lot of it, a lot of things that I really doesn't agree with. Like, it's, you know, this movie is where stupid people get themselves into stupid situation really not my cup of tea because you see it coming. I, I went in because uh, of recommendation, just want to see how they make this movie. I do rec I w I do um, have to say that the movie, even though it's low budget, it was not shot uh, in low budget style, it was shot very nicely, so that's some good things about the movie, but it's definitely not for me to buy. I won't recommend a Blu-ray. Um, that's basically a good horror movie to see on TV. It's a cheaper version of The Shining, and you probably see this kind of uh, show in the uh, X Files or Twilight Zone or Supernatural. That's it. That's my review of the Oculus. Oculus, whatever that means. Thank you for watching, guys.